Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R730XD. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on mass updates. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R730XD. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, so we're going to get rolling, um, and we're going to show you uh, in this video how to do mass updates for your R730XD. Uh, this is going to cover iDRAC, it's going to cover BIOS, firmware, onboard diagnostics, uh, the NIC card, I mean, you name it, it's going to go through and uh, find out what updates you need and run them all. And I will say when we uh, do mass updates, uh, sometimes uh, depending on how old your uh, R730XD is and the last time it got updated, sometimes it could take all night to update everything, right? So sometimes we'll just, you know, leave it on. Uh, it takes only a few minutes to set it up, but then you just leave it on and then it'll run overnight and you'll come back and that's how long it'll take. Sometimes we'll have to do 100, 200 overnight and we'll come back in and they're still going uh, because the updates didn't completely finish. Um, but that is uh, how awesome it's going to be though when you're done because everything will be up to date. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by again today to learn more about the Dell PowerEdge R730 XD. As we continue our series, this part is going to be about how to do mass updates. We're going to show you uh, how to just run a bunch of updates at one time. All right, well, let's get rolling. So uh, first things first, you're going to boot up your system just like normal. Uh, you're going to click F10 to get into the iDRAC lifecycle controller. Uh, once you get into the iDRAC lifecycle controller, uh, which does take a little bit of time uh, sometimes during the um, just the initial initialization uh, it, it's not always the uh, the fastest because obviously it's just booting up it's got a lot to do so uh, do be patient with it but uh, once it does actually officially uh, enter into the life cycle controller uh, you'll have an option where you can uh, select your actual settings uh, which is going to be on the left and then you can navigate down to uh, network settings all right, so after you click network settings, you need to make sure that you pick the network port that your Cat5 cable is plugged into. Ours is under the integrated NIC1 that's selected. Then for the IP address source, you need to go to DHCP. And once you're done, you should click finish in the bottom right corner. This will apply the changes and automatically set the IP address, which will give the server internet access. All right, it's going to pop up and say success for your network settings. You're going to click OK. Once you click OK, you're going to want to go to firmware update. Once you select firmware update, you're going to get several options. You're going to want to click launch firmware update. Once you've launched the firmware update, you're going to want to select network share CIFS or NFS or HTTPS or HTTPS server and then you're going to click next. Once you've clicked next, there's going to give you um, several different options and you're going to select the, uh, the bubble for HTTPS. Under the share name address, you want to make sure that it says downloads.dell.com. All right, after you click next, do know it's going to take some time to prepare uh, all the different updates that you need. Uh, so right now it's a little bit of a waiting game. Just be patient, sit back and relax uh, as it goes through. You might get prompted with something like a firmware update. As far as um, lifecycle controller does not import, just click yes. Uh, that's not a big deal. And really you're just going to keep waiting for a little bit of time here and it'll pop up and it'll show you um, all the you know the various updates that you need to do um, and again you know it's just a waiting game so we're going to actually fast forward for a second here all right so eventually it's going to pop up and it's going to show you all of the various updates that you need uh, it'll be different for different people on ours you can see everything from you know the os driver pack the nic needs to be updated firmware is going to need to be updated it's just going to go through literally every individual thing which is really really nice that it's going to show you all the different you know options and everything that you need to do uh, it looks like our you know, hba 3 330 needs to be updated the iDRAC controller needs to be uh, updated so basically everything just realistically needs a, a good refresh for this server here so and do note when you um, you select all of them click apply it will take anywhere from you know a few minutes to hours and I do mean that hours sometimes 
Uh, we'll do mass updates and we, you know, we're needing to update 100 servers at a time. We'll leave them running overnight and come back and some of them still aren't done. So it, it does take quite a bit. So if it's something that, uh, you know, you don't want it down or whatever, I, I do recommend doing it overnight sometimes. It's helpful. But in general, just do expect it will take some time. After you've applied all the updates, you want to verify that the updates went through. Um, you're simply just going to hit F10 back on the boot menu. You're going to go back into your lifecycle controller, click firmware update, and you'll view your current versions. And this will actually show you uh, that everything is the you know the most current version is up to date, and that everything is you know ready and and good to go. So I uh, appreciate you stopping by today to learn how to do some mass updates on your R730 XD. If you're looking to custom build one, do us a favor, email us at sales at cloudninjas.com or check out our website. We'd love to quote you and earn your business. Appreciate you stopping by. Take care.